Hey everybody, I am recording this video to show more or less the process to record with m multiple cameras using mocap for all. Uh, here is just a demo. I will make like a really detailed explanation of the workflow with uh, how to use the program, how to calibrate, best practices, what cameras am I using, uh, what file uh, what type of file export I'm using, why am I using that, uh, some little tools I've used along the process in my pipeline, so you can have an idea what you can make for yourself or your indie production or whatever. And here I have recorded the, the calibration of the camera and now I'm calibrating them in the 3D space. That's why I have this big board. So you can see that two cameras showed up in the viewport there. And this is so the cameras know where they are in space. And the moment I s hit start capture, you can already see that we have some points on the screen. I like to have only points because it's basically the skeleton and that's what matters to me. Um, each camera here is at 60 FPS. So we can do some fast movements here and there. Not too fast because, yes, it's just 60 FPS, but it's pretty good overall compared to other systems and here when I went to export as FBX uh, the mannequin from Unreal will show up in the viewport because it's the base skeleton to export as FBX and I opened up Houdini there to show you a tool uh, that a guy did for me in the Houdini discord I can't remember his name right now but thank to him so what this tool basically does is I record the FBX animation in there. Also, I'm in the free version yet. I'm going to buy it soon to start production. And I record the animation to a folder and all animations I have on the folder will be like called out and they will be turned into a motion clip so I can spec their spectrum of movement. And then they will put them to the side and I can spec all animations on the folder. So the animation I just recorded, it's right on the left, where you can see. And this way I can check if I had a crash in the file or if it bugged too much, some rotations or something, or something went really bad, so I can check that. And here I, have, I did a few cuts just because my computer was checking, but I import the animation in Unreal Engine. This is Unreal 5.4 and here is the animation inside Unreal. Straight out, no cleanup, nothing. And I'm doing this workflow because the new one we retarget, it's like pretty good. The best I've seen so far. I tested AutoRig Pro, I tested Rococo, and I'm fighting the Unreal one like really, really good, which is awesome. And then I just click retarget and I didn't set up anything manually. I just clicked the thing, select the animation. You can see where wood moving there. Select the folder, click export, and it's pretty much done, which is super amazing. I, I find this super amazing. It's real quick to work. And then here is the animation we target to him. Uh, also, I used two cameras in this one. I did a video with three, but I, I don't have too much space. It's a little messy. I will try to record in a bigger space on a studio, a dance studio and all that. And now I export it to, I export it out to Cascado. So I had the model exported previously. So, but I just imported it here to show you. This model was exported out from AutoRig Pro. So with the Unreal setting to rename everything to mannequin. So I just click yes, yes, okay. You can see all bones are mapped correctly. Then generate rig. And we have a functioning character, humanoid. Then I just put out the box selector, select everything and go to typos on the commands menu. And now I select all bones and import the animation to Cascado. Now they have like new menus and all that good stuff. The software is improving really well. Then animation, then I select the animation I just exported for Unreal. That's retargeted to him. 
the Unreal Up and Cascade Up are not matching, so we need to select Interval Editing, then go in the Settings and set the rotation to be a 9 degree interval right there. Then we select the whole animation and just rotate it 9 degrees. And now it's correct. When we export it out, we just import back it to a rail with the 90 rotation opposite to it to, so everything is in place. And here it is. It, I think it, this whole process took me less than 10 minutes to record an animation, spec it, uh, imported in Houdini and then retarget it to my character and then I did the uh, the unbake so we have fewer keyframes and timeline and then you can do auto physics and then just export it back yeah the, the only part I still need to figure out better about the workflow is this cleanup in Cascado I still need to invest some time on it I'm doing a lot of freelance work so I'm out of time but yeah, soon enough you'll have a full tutorial on how to do this step-by-step. -step. See ya.